Here we are in Springfield, Massachusetts, home of the Basketball Hall of Fame. You can recognize the Basketball Hall of Fame because of the building that's shaped kind of like a basketball and uh, because of this huge tower that has, as you may have guessed, a basketball at the very top of it. The thing's a giant. Our task is to find out how tall this tower is. So what we need to do is a couple of things. One, we have to find the angle that we're viewing at. What is the angle that we're viewing at? We've built a simple tool you can use to measure angles. It's a protractor, a little hole in it, and uh, you tape a straw to the very top of it. Through the hole you put some fishing wire. The end of the fishing wire you put a lead weight. Gravity pulls the lead weight towards the center of the earth. So you're looking at something that's perfectly horizontal. Now that string is going to hang right at 90 degrees, which we're going to call zero. And as you begin to look up at something that's taller, and taller and taller uh, the weight continues to hang straight down and so we can use this change in angle of the protractor and measure from 0 to 10 to 20 degrees to determine how high an object's angle of elevation is so here we are out in the field and there we are we look through the straw and we sight it in on the basketball it's coming it's coming there we got it perfectly sighted now let's read and see what we get. Well in place, and I'm recording 10, 20, 30, about 39 degrees. So now what I need to do, in order to do this, is measure the distance from my location to the base of that tower. And I've got my trusty trundle wheel. So let's go ahead and do that. a right triangle. All right, we decided that we were seeing it at about 39 degrees elevation and that we were located 57 meters away. So the question is how tall is this device? Well if this is a right triangle this is the opposite side and this is the adjacent side of some angle. Let's go over to the math we know that the tangent of the angle is equal to the opposite divided by the adjacent. And so we'll do algebra to solve for opposite side. Now uh, we got to get rid of adjacent on this side of the equation, so we multiply both sides by adjacent. So the tangent of the angle times the adjacent side should be equal to the opposite side. And in fact, our algebra solves for the unknown. So let's plug in tangent of 39 degrees times 57 meters. I plug in, I find the tangent of 39 degrees comes out to be about 0.8. I multiply that by 57 and I'm coming up with 46.15 meters or 46 meters with the kind of precision we can get. Well, after I was done playing outside, I got to go inside. It was really fascinating. The walls were covered with pictures of people that were real influential in basketball. I'm uh, kind of a fan myself, but mostly of uh, the Syracuse Orange Men. I really like Syracuse University. They've got some amazing teams, and the coach is great. Anyway, I met Susan Askin, who is the education coordinator, and she let me play with the shoes of Shaquille O'Neal and Yao Ming. So now you do a volume experiment where we're trying to calculate how many things would fit inside yes. of here, and then do you actually pour them in? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I pour them in, then we count them. Yeah. Oh, look at two left feet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
That's awesome. Susan, thank you so much. Did you get your picture? Yes. Oh, okay. It was filming even as we spoke. Oh, all right.